why has the PR been so awful? I know that's not your area of expertise, but you have mm -hmm. to um, um, uh, uh, have some thoughts on that, which is, I mean, as you've said, why has Hamas disappeared in terms of public perception? An offer is on the table to have a ceasefire, and yet the world is screaming about Israel. It's like, why aren't that screaming about Hamas? Accept the ceasefire, bring home the, the hostages. It said it's all the other way around. I, 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 I've, I mean, typically the Israelis are good at PR. What's happened here? How have hmm. they, how have they and we been so ineffective at communicating um, the, the realities there and our, our point of view? Well, look, I think there are two things. Um, one is that, look, there is an inescapable reality. Uh, and that is the inescapable reality of uh, people who have, uh, have and continue to suffer grievously in Gaza. And that's real. And we have to have to be focused on that and attend to that. At the same time, um, how this narrative has evolved, yeah, it's a, it's a great question. I don't have a good answer to that. Um, there, one can speculate about what some of the, the causes might be. Uh, I don't know. I can tell you this. Um, and we were talking about this a little bit over dinner. Uh, with Cindy, I think in my time in Washington, which is a little bit, a little bit over 30 years, um, the single biggest change uh, has been in the information environment. And when I started out in the early 1990s, uh, everyone did the same thing. Uh, you woke up in the morning, you opened the door of your apartment, uh, your house, you picked up a hard copy of the New York Times, the Washington Post, the Wall Street Journal. And then if you had a television in your office, um, you turned it on at 6.30 uh, or 7 o'clock and watched the National Network News. Now, of course, we are on a, an intravenous feed of information uh, with um, new impulses, inputs every millisecond. And of course, the way this has played out on social media has dominated the, uh, the narrative. And you have a social media ecosystem environment in which context, history, facts get lost, and the emotion, the impact of images um, dominates. And we can't, we can't discount that, um, but I think it also uh, has a very, very, very challenging effect on, uh, uh, on, on the narrative. Yeah, a small parenthetical point, which is some wonder why there was such overwhelming support uh, for us to shut down potentially TikTok or other entities of that nature. If you look at the, uh, the postings on TikTok and the number of mentions of Palestinians relative to other social media sites, it's overwhelmingly so among uh, TikTok um, uh, uh, broadcasts. So I'd, uh, I'd note that's of, of, uh, of real interest and the president will get the chance to, to make action in that regard.